Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You're welcome to God's presence. And God himself will bring your desired change into your life tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout a better amen. amen. Any stranger that is leaving your body tonight will disappear in the service. Amen. It's not a prayer. Anyone here that is carrying a stranger in his body or her body, just watch it. The, the Bible says, as soon as they hear of me, they will, the stranger shall fade away. So the voice of God will be resounded through the voice of this hidden vessel and there will be a sudden disappearance to the glory of Jesus. Bible-based faith confers dominion has been a prophetic focus for the month of March 2019 and our teaching series for the midweek services has been understanding how faith works. Understanding how faith works. By way of introduction tonight, I'd like you to know that anywhere faith is, possibility is present. Every time they discuss faith, possibility is a reality. So when you're in the class of faith, you're in the class of possibilities. When you're under the teaching of faith, you are under an atmosphere of possibilities. Because faith is a converter. Faith is a converter. Faith is a converter. So when you are under faith teaching, you are under testimonies. Potentially. We know the introduction we gave last week. The faith without work is dead. James 2.26 For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Faith without work is dead also. Faith without work is dead also. In the course of the week, somebody coming from Thailand, which is south east of Asia, thereabouts. And uh, he said, somebody gave me a number. He said, for the past nine to nine months or almost 12 months or almost one year, according to nine months and 12 months thereabouts, almost one year, that every time he breathes, the chest is painful. You know how many times you breathe in a day? Every time he breathes, the chest is painful. Every time. Every time. Which means he's under a, a perpetual pain. Because we breathe every second. Now, to cut the long story short, because he, she, he couldn't get me on time. And that's okay. Do you believe in Jesus? He said, yes, I've accepted Jesus, my Lord, and Savior. That thing touched me. Ah, he's genuinely born again. Fine. Okay. I said, right now, as I pray with you, expect it to disappear. We prayed. You know, at times I was say, coming back in two minutes. I said, check now. Don't call me back. Check now. Immediately, he breathed in, breathed out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Pain disappeared on the spot. All the way in Thailand to God's glory. Now, without work, is dead. The work inside faith is what makes faith faith. Check now, not later. In Thailand, I've never been to Thailand, but on the phone, check now, check now, check now. You see, the action you impute in the word you receive is what proves your faith. The action imputes in the word you have received is what validates your faith. Show me your faith with the works, I will show my faith by my works. The works inside your faith is what validates what you call faith. Many of us claim to have faith without action. We are failing. In fact, Holy Ghost spoke to me this afternoon. He says, If you don't gauge your faith, you will fail. And I said, what's the meaning? He says some people assume they have faith of which they are empty. If you don't gauge your tire, if you assume it, you won't reach your destination. I was, I was just, I think I was doing something. I just heard. He said, if you don't gauge your faith, you will fail. 
That is, when what you call faith as faith. Ask yourself, am I in faith or am I play, in play, or playing? So, faith is not faith until it has some works. Faith is fake if it lacks proofs. Because it is proofs that validate faith. It is proofs. If you have had many testimonies here, that baby, they said, they brought here now. Look at the testimony. It looks so simple. It looks so empty. It looks so, what's the big deal? But hear the testimony. They have taken different medications to no avail. High fever, continuous vomiting, but after the touch of Jesus. Psh. Now, that is not just natural. That, it shows that after I say go, it's, it's healed. Just like that, yes. Because when you act, God will react. Every time you act God's word, there's a reaction from heaven. Make them sit down. To eat what? Sit down. Make them sit down. Immediately they sat down. Heaven's bakery went into action. Immediately they sat down. When you act, you provoke God's action. When you act, you move God in your direction. Make them sit down. To eat what? Where is the food? Sit down, my friend. The, your action is what propels God's reaction in your direction for your testimony. John 10, 37. The Bible made us understand that if I do not the works of my father, believe me not. So, God the father is a worker. Jesus the son is a worker. Holy Ghost is a worker. And the wind went from the praise of the Lord and brought in quails. The wind blew in quails. The worker. Holy Ghost is a worker. Jesus is a worker. God is a worker. So, if you don't have works, you are a bastard. Quote and unquote. Because your father is working, proving his faith. Jesus is working, proving his faith. Holy Ghost is working, proving his faith. How dare you now tell me you have faith without works? The works you put in your faith is what validates what you claim as faith. We shall not be bastard to Jesus. We shall not be bastard to God again. So stop saying I don't have job. Rise up. Go out. If you go out first, then nothing happens. You have proved that you are working. Secondly, nothing happens. You have proved that you are working. Stop behaving as if God... You see, when we fold our hands, we have caused God to withdraw his hand. When our hands are folded, God's hand are also withdrawn. So our action is what makes God to be on the stage for us. I pray tonight our spirit man will catch fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Faith is the most potent force in the whole universe. Faith is the most potent force in the whole universe. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 to 3. Now faith is the substance of things of for evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Through faith we understand that the world were framed. The world. All the worlds. All the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of the things which do appear. Now, let me quickly say something here. From my own understanding that was Holy Ghost opened my eyes to see it. The worlds were framed by the word. Do you know what that means? You have a world. You have a world. You have a world. So your world is a function of the quality of the word of God in you. Everybody has his own world. For example now, a blind man is in his own world. A poor man is in his own world. <laughs> a poor man will not say, let me take taxi five. He will say, where is the next taxi point? Why? It's a different world. A poor man will not want to go to, uh, to uh, no, no Port Elizabeth 
or go to Cape Town and say, please, how much is the flight? Fly what? He will say, how much is the bus? Now, I'm just giving an example. For the fact that you take a bus, doesn't mean you are poor. But you see, you live in your work time. So, your word of God level determines your world. So, as you grow in the world, you change your world. As you grow in the world, you change your world. I remember when I was in Nigeria, by the grace of God, that I had issues with my passport due to some changes and stuff like that. Then I was in Ibadan. And I need to go to UK in, for my residency. So, I went to Abuja from Ibadan like 10 times within a few months. Because, you know, immigration in Nigeria, they are very terrible. They can frustrate you. I will, I will travel. Thank God for grace. Thank God for a good word. <laughs> I will, and I needed to travel very fast and return back for service. Saints, I was flying like a bird. I will go straight to Alakia Airport from there, Abuja, straight. At times, I will go straight, charter a car to Lagos from there, book a flight. When I was spending this money, I said, where is this money coming from? That is not natural. Not everyone will behave like that. Ah, you take night bus, man. Night bus that may not deliver you at the right time. And if you are not in the realm of night bus, you take, you know, breakdown. You know, breakdown from Lagos, you know, to Benin. From Benin, you just saw it. You know it. You have done it before. <laughs> You pick one, drop one, pick one, drop one, pick one, drop one. By the time you combine your money, it's a small money. That's a word. But your word level changes your world. The more you grow in the world, the more you're watching it. But since, yes, before that time, I can't imagine behaving like that. I calculated the money I spent that time was over 500,000. Each flight is like 25,000. 30,000. And I'll just buy. One day, self, I almost got stuck. Ah. I was traveling. I did not have money in my pocket. I said, I will get there. I didn't have the return ticket, money to tra travel back. I said, I'm going. I went. I wouldn't know. I didn't know where I would sleep. I told my wife, I'm going. Faith is sweet, but it's risky. <laughs> I went. I'm telling you, very crazy boy. I went. I entered the plane. I said, hey, oh, my boy. <laughs> I didn't know I would. I'm standing God's altar. I didn't know how I would exist. I mean, survive. But I told myself, I will go. When I go there, how somebody mysteriously from nowhere sent me money to book an hotel. Mysteriously. See, your faith life is your lifestyle. Your faith life determines your kind of lifestyle. You see, the same way faith is unpredictable is the same way Somebody that lives in faith is unpredictable. They can see you like somebody who has nothing today. In 24 hours, you are only an estate. That is how faith does. Faith can change you suddenly. Suddenly. As if, ah, what, what, what? Yes, that is it. What, what? Uh -huh, that is, because faith is inside God. And God is unpredictable. So when you live in the level of the world that has capacity to transform, you become a transformer. Everywhere you enter, they can't predict what will happen. I wrote something on my Facebook this morning that God Holy Ghost spoke to me in the earliest of this morning. He said, no matter how the world sees the church, the church still remains as a solution to the confusion and pollution in the world. No matter the pollution due to some fake prophets, fake pastors, it doesn't change the fact that the church is still the lasting solution. No matter what people say, no matter how they manipulate, no matter how they change it, no matter how the bastardize Christianity, it doesn't change the fact that solution still right lives in the church. For at the Bible says, at the last days, the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be upon the mountains, and all nations, not some, all, all Arabians, all Saudi Arabia, all. Caribbeans, all Muslims, all shall flow into it. For Zephyrs shall come out of Zion. But what brings us?
to the point of being a savior is the word. That's why I wrote on that page that wherever you are, ask yourself, am I preferring solution or am I complicating the problems? Anywhere you are, ask yourself, am I an answer or adding more questions? But the word in you determines your status. The word in you determines your status. That is why absolute faith in the unlimited God confers dominion. Absolute faith. Absolute faith. Hear this and hear well. The challenges you are going through as a believer is your recipe to becoming a champion. Hmm. The challenges you are going through as a believer, but mark my words, as a believer, as a believer, there is a difference between a problem and a challenge. A problem is what you brought about yourself as a result of lack of understanding. A problem is what you want. See, hear this. A problem is what you do. That the only solution is to go and correct it at the foundation. A challenge is what God organizes for you. For your rising. A problem is something that you cannot do anything without. Then go and change. Go back and correct it. A problem takes you back to look for the answer. A challenge advances you to go higher. That's why when you go through challenges, when, whatever you go through as a, as a believer is a challenge. For all things work together for the good of the lovers because you're a believer. So understand that as a believer, absolute faith in the limited God confers dominion. So keep asking yourself, am I a believer? Oh, I'm a passing Christian. What is faith? Faith is taking covenant responsibility so as to secure our desires. Faith is taking covenant responsibility. Covenant, not personal responsibility. Not just personal. There's a difference between personal and covenant. You hear people say that this is the way I want it, and that's it. That's not covenant. That's personal responsibility. But this is the way God wants it. That's covenant. Somebody said, the way, I can only pay tithe whenever I have money. I'm going to buy a guest salary. If they give me money, that's a special bonus. That one is not for tithe. If they give me money now, that's not my income. It's my personal pocket money. You know, somebody can analyze their, use their brain to analyze God in a negative way. That is personal responsibility. But covenant means you stand by God's standard. You operate at God's terms. John 2 verse 5. John chapter 2 verse 5. The Bible says, Jesus Christ said unto them, Mary said unto them, sorry, Mary, she said, he said, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Whatever he tells you to do it. So what is the covenant responsibility? Proverbs 11 verse 30. He that winneth a soul is wise. That is following God's terms in securing your desires. He that winneth a soul is wise. He that winneth a soul is wise. And the Bible says, by me kings reign. And princes decree justice. He said, riches and durable riches are with me. Proverbs chapter 8 from verse 15 to 17. Inside wisdom is riches. Inside wisdom, inside wisdom, you enjoy riches, riches, durable riches, durable riches. And I like you to understand that when you engage in soul winning, you engage in the mind of God. You possess the mind of God. Because the mind that God will use to change a soul can never remain the same. The mind through which God will manifest to change a life can never remain the same. So when you are a soul winner, you are a transformer. Whereby God flows through you to change somebody. 
by the time you finish, you, are ad you have advanced. You can't do any same. The wisdom of God is deposited. The grace of God is deposited. The, 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 everything that makes God, God lives inside you. That's why he that wounded his soul is wise. Because he's engaging God to secure his dear changes. And the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 35, it says, the wise shall inherit glory. But if you're a soul winner, you are wise. Which means, as a soul winner, you are wise. And as you assess wisdom, you enjoy glory. Every shame in your life from tonight is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Faith is a display of confidence in God and his word. Until the desired result is obtained. Faith is a display of confidence in God and his word until that is a very very wonderful and important you know adjective that qualifies the confidence until the desired result until 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 somebody will say that do I think God still loves me can I still make it? Who told you? Until. I've been looking for a job for years. I didn't even get one. Until. I've never seen anything change in my life. Until the desired child is obtained. Hebrews 10, 35 and 36. The Bible says, Cast not away, therefore, thy confidence. That has a great recompense of reward. Why? For ye have the need of patience that after you have done the will of God, you may obtain the promise. You have the need of patience. 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 Patience is a virtue that builds. Patience is a virtue that builds capacity in the career. It makes you to be... It, 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 patience empowers you to know how to manage success. Those who get it fast, they don't last. Those who get it so fast, without going through, without being built under patience, they don't last. That's why you see somebody, I, I was watching one of the messages I was privileged to preach, and I learned from that message that was saying that, you see, those who get money fast, fast, they don't last. Why they didn't use? I mean, they did not go through the process of having money in the right way. As a result, the way it comes, it goes. Nothing stays in their hands. But patience will teach you how to grow. Will teach you how to build, and patience will build faith inside you. Patience, the way of building faith inside you. In book of Isaiah 66, verse 7 and 8. Before she traveled, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man child. Who had had such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth that in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion traveled, she brought forth her children. As soon, as soon as she traveled, as soon as she traveled, but you must not cast away your confidence. That has a great recompense of reward. For ye have the need, a need of patience. Maybe you are here, you have been jobless for so, some years. Hear the good news. Your joblessness is working out the best inside you. I was telling one of my precious sisters today that came around. I said, between you, um, between you getting married to a wrong person at 32, and suffer destruction for the rest of your life and get married at 35 and enjoy the best of your life for the rest of your life. Choose one. Relax! You are not God. They call his name Alpha and Omega. He knows the end that you don't even understand. For the fact that it has not come does not mean that the best is not coming. You have the need of patience. In order to assess the greatness. Patience. Patience. 
Some want millions. Some years ago, they have died in the accident of the car they bought with the millions. But remember, when you engage in so winning to assess greatness, the grace that took you there will sustain you. That's the benefit. When you engage in so winning, you travel for souls to secure your greatness. You can't fall. Because you have invested into a solid rock. You have invested into a place where moth and weevils and beetles cannot reach. You have invested into a place where devourers cannot get to. Hallelujah. James 1, 6-7, the Bible says that but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and toast. But let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. So, be rigid in your confidence. They say, when will you have your own family? Say, relax. Tell them, relax. My family shall be the best. Hear me. Whatever you have seen as a believer, is a sign that there's something better awaiting you. Anything you have seen in anybody, because the Bible says the path of a just is a shining light that shines brighter and brighter. In fact, it says eyes have not seen, which means your kind of marriage they've not seen. Maybe you're not married now. They say, hey, hey, hey no husband. Hey, say relax. Mm -mm, don't beat me. Mm -mm -mm. My marriage will be the best. It's not a prayer. The Bible says so. Eyes have not seen. The kind of marriage I will have. Tell them. They say, ah, you are jobless. Say, shut up. Me jobless. The best job you have never seen. Because eyes have not seen. Is, so when they are telling you that, this is, you know, one of my precious spiritual sister, daughters in, in Canada told me she wanted to send me money for something. I said, no, 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 no. Don't bother. Send me more for what? Yeah. And I needed it. Hey, don't worry. I will never allow anybody to pity me. I'm in the center of the, the center of the center of this control of money with Jesus. Don't look pitiable, otherwise you will live forever in the pit. No matter your situation, be rigid inside Jesus. Know fully well that He will not allow you to cry. This is important. Your confidence must be resolute. Nothing changing, nothing wavering. From tonight, spirit of fear and doubt is cast out. Shut a better. Head. Faith is our access to the reality of have of a heaven on earth lifestyle in this present time. Faith is our access to the reality of a heaven on earth lifestyle in this present time. Present time. In this present time, heaven on earth is a possibility, sir. But your faith is your access. Look at this scripture. Let me read it quickly. Romans 10, verse 6. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Say not in thy heart, send it into heaven, that is, to bring Christ down from above, or who shall descend into the deep. That is, to bring up Christ again from the dead. Now, look at it. He said, but what said it? The word is nigh thee. Even in thy mouth, in thy heart, that is, the word of faith, preach that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart as raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Now, look at me. The heaven and earth was created by the word of God. And the heaven is a source of everything in the world. Take a, a quick look. The word of God was created. I mean, the heaven and earth was created by the word of God. And the heaven is a source of all every man's desire. And now, the world now lives inside you. Which means you are the reason why you are poor. You are the reason why you are sick. The prayer you are praying, I mean, the prayer the world is praying, they are praying to the heavens. But heaven is inside you. Because what made the heaven lives in you? 
Without him was anything that was made. The word made heaven. And you carry the word inside. So you are a solution to your challenge. That's why the power of meditation is a power of transformation. The more you meditate, the more you navigate your way out of your shame. You access the depths inside you, inside you, inside you, inside you is the answer to the problem around you. And that's why faith is our access. Because as you, nav as you, as you meditate, navigate your way into the answer you carry. That will bring the solution to the problem you claim to have or the challenge as the case may be. I like us to understand that there is no mountain anywhere. Every man's ignorance is his mountain. Father said several years ago. So you, I am where I am. You are where you are as a result of the level of the knowledge at work in you. Heaven on earth is, possi is possible for any believer. From tonight, every siege and to your revelation is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. From tonight, your eyes will see clearer. Your eyes will see better. You will understand God better. In the name of Jesus Christ. Matthew 6, 33. Seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things all other things all other things all all including what your mind has been desperate to get all shall be added all shall be added saints let's make this month a month of desperate search for souls Desperate search for souls. But look at it. The reason why there is heaven is because of believers. Because of the saints. So when, now look at it. When you start pursuing souls, you start advancing the heavens. And every of your desire, they are in heaven. So as you are advancing the heavens, the blessings that accrues those who advance heaven becomes your portion. Supernaturally, before you pray, God answers. While you are thinking, God delivers. But make his kingdom your priority. I pray tonight and this month, we'll enjoy the best of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Also, remember, Bible faith is an ever-winning ticket in the race of life. Bible faith is an ever-winning ticket in the race of life. 1 John 5, 4. The Bible says, this is the victory that overcome the world. It says, whatever is born of God overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcome the world. Ever winning ticket in the race of life. Ever winning ticket. Every time you have faith, you can enter anywhere. I say, I traveled to Abuja and returned with just only one 25,000, which cannot take me by taxi within Abuja alone is 10,000. Maybe you are going from airport to Maitama. Can be 10,000. Just a taxi. So how do you return? Once you have faith, it's a global currency with the highest reputation, with the highest respect. When you have faith, you have the currency of heaven that can buy anything. With your faith, you can buy any you can buy a land without leaving your house. With your faith, you can buy properties without leaving your room. John, but John 15 16 says, You have not chosen me, but I've chosen you and I've ordained you that you should go, bring, go and bring forth fruit, and your fruit may abide. And whatsoever you ask, now look at it. You put your faith in working with God. You enjoy the break with God. Put your faith in walking with God. He said, You have not chosen me, and I've chosen, and I've ordained you that go and bring forth fruit. Please be desperate in soul search this season. Tell yourself, I must experience a transformation. My faith will bring souls, and the faith that brings souls bring blessings. 
The faith that brings souls is a faith that will expand your blessings. Please, let's not take this month for granted. Everyone engaging will be duly rewarded beyond the explanations. In the name of Jesus Christ, say a better amen. amen. Say a better amen. amen. Say a stronger amen. amen. So, Bible faith is an ever winning ticket in the race of life. Bible faith in the sense that Bible faith following the instruction of the Bible in assessing the blessing with desire. This month has been separated for Operation Rescue. And as we are engaging by faith, we'll be experiencing a continuous change. As we're engaging by faith, we'll be experiencing a continuous change. For example, this Saturday is Operation Rescue Saturday. Remember, every third Saturday in the month as a commission is our Operation Andrew Saturday, whereby every winner Every genuine winner is expected to go out to bring at least one, minimum one soul, minimum one, to Jesus. Because every third Sunday is our Operation Rescue Sunday, whereby every winner is expected to present a soul to Jesus. And that's why we have done a particular flyer that um, come for all things are ready. At the end of the service, ushers will give to us. Just take one, one, one. And make sure that one is on the floor. But that one brings you by all means. You cannot walk with God and become worthless in life. We, you cannot walk with God and become worthless in life. Your walk with God enhances your worth. So please make up your mind and engage in faith that as I serve God in souls, as I serve God to bring souls, it will serve me to lift me. It will serve me to change my position. Glory to God. But the faith that works must be one heart seated. Seated. Romans 10 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made on salvation. Must be heart seated. Hebrews 4 2. The Bible says the same word that was preached to us was being preached to them, but he profited them not to had it because it was not mixed in the faith of them that had it. It was not mixed in the in their hearts. It was not mixed. So it must be heart seated. If your faith must what is mean of heart seated faith? That is, it is well rooted. Well rooted. It is rooted in your heart. It cannot be removed. Glory to God. 1 Samuel 16, verse 7, the Lord understand that, but the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not unto the countenance or the right of the stature, because I have refused them. For the Lord seeth not as a man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. 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 Please ask yourself, is my heart. You cannot claim you have faith and you have a wrong heart. It can't work. What you claim as faith has been damaged by a wrong heart. So it takes having a right heart practically have a rooted faith. Otherwise, that wrong heart will choke that so-called faith. Look at Matthew chapter 13 verse 19-23. The parable of the sower. When one that this is an um, interpretation Jesus gave. He heard the word of God and understanded it not. Remember, by a heart we understand. Now, then commits the wicked one and catch it away, which was sown in, in his heart. So if it's not well planted, the wicked will steal away. This is he which received the seed, but he that received the seed into a stony heart. In the stony places, the same is he that hear the word and anon with joy received it. And yet he is yet had he not root himself, but but for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by he offended. Now, when you're not well rooted, you take offense. Those who are rooted, they don't take offense. You shake them. Psh. They can be angry, but psh, afterwards it goes. Why? They are too rooted to be shaken. Nothing moves them. 
There are some people, if you mistakenly step on their toes, they, they may not greet you for two weeks. Two weeks. Is he blind? Is he blind? What's his problem? Is he blind? Ah, ah. Hey, Kiro, day. Step on your toes. I didn't slap your face now. I didn't step on your toes. But because they are spiritually low, any little thing, you take offense. You cannot grow. You can't grow like that. Never. That faith can't grow. Because the more it rises, offense, psh, cut it off. It rises, cut it off. That's why such people are ever stagnant. Why? This is will always build a fence against your destiny. The more you try to rise, psh, it cuts. Rise, cut. That's why you must be well rooted. Devil knows. Look at what Jesus called, told Peter. Yes, Simon, Simon. Devil has tried to save you, but I have prayed for you. Not that you should not fail, but your faith. Your faith. Your faith. Every one, I mean, devil's target for every believer is his faith. Once you lose your faith, you have lost your life. What heart failure is death is to life is what faith failure to a believer. Heart, fa heart has failed. Life is gone. In the same way, once your faith is fa has failed, you are finished. We shall not finish. Our faith will not fail. In the name of Jesus Christ. You look, read down the one line. said, He that received the word, received the seed among, is he that heard the word and the care of the word of this word and the discipline of riches and choke the word and become it unfruitful. But he that received the seed into the good ground is he that heard the word and understanded it. Which also bear fruit and bring forth some 160 and 90 uh, and 30. As you are hearing the word, tell God, Lord, I will not hear it in vain. It must change me inside out. I told myself, I can't, I told myself, I don't want to be the, the same person. The me you know in January must not be me, the me you know in April. The word is same, but it changes every moment. So, as long as the word is inside me, when you see me next day, you see something, something, different, something different. Why? The word in us changes us per second. Glory to God. So, if your faith must produce, it must be acceded. And then, in conclusion, if your faith must produce, it must be both speaking. Say both speaking. Both speaking. Don't use both face to fight. Use both faith. You come here. Come here and you don't know anything. Ah, it's a risk. Risk. Who told you I don't have faith? I have faith. No, you don't claim you have faith. Your action speaks it. I say I have faith. Ah, don't talk like that. You may not, you may not survive it. Ensure your faith is rooted before you start declaring. Don't declare what your heart has not received. Don't declare what has not been built inside you. Even Jesus never attempted the cross until he went through the until he went through the training. Jesus cross. Like I was telling some other people some some times ago, I said, Who told you God cannot save the old world at once? He can. He can save the world at once. The same way he cleared the whole world at once. He can send one, send one angel, save the world at once. Was it, not in, was it, was it not one, the, the one that created heaven and earth? He can. But everything has process. God is a God of order. Be matured spiritually before you dare some things in the realm of the spirit. Ensure you spiritually to make bold declarations. Psalm 81 verse 10. I'm the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide and I will fill it. But my people will not hearken unto my voice, and Israel will not of me. So I gave them up to their own heart, lost, and they walked in their own counsel. Oh, that my people are hearken unto me, and Israel walked my ways. I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. So God expects us to open our mouth wide. But you see, what you speak is a function of what is in your heart. For as a man thinking his heart, so easy. So if you have not received the word, you can't be bold enough to. 
So you need to receive the word. Luke 21 verse 15. He said, Behold, I give unto you a mouth and a wisdom that none of your enemies Look at it. A mouth and a wisdom. A mouth and a wisdom. A mouth and a wisdom. But what is wisdom? Wisdom. Talks about 1 Corinthians 1 24. Jesus Christ is the wisdom and the power of God. But to have the wisdom of God, wisdom of Je- to have the wisdom of Jesus is to have the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2 16. Who had not the mind of the Lord that may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. So if you must be able to speak boldly, you must have wisdom, which is Jesus. But the wisdom of Jesus is having the mind of Christ. So when you speak, you speak like Christ. You declare like Christ, not because you want to. That's who you are. It is inherent. It is engraven in your heart. Not by shouting. There are times when I am able to pray for some people, I don't pray. I just look at their face. Just look. In, my, in the realm of the spirit, power is flowing. How do you talk? You just look. You just because in the realm of the spirit, understanding is power. Understanding is power in the realm of the spirit. So your boldness is not just in your speaking. Your boldness in the depth of the revelation you possess. Before you even speak, uh, uh, look at it. Jesus Christ has not appeared. Ah, have you come to the for, for our time? Why? The boldness is rooted. I pray from tonight. Uh, we'll catch fire. Yeah. Finally, I'd like us to understand that, that to fully deliver our pressure rescue, we must believe in the unlimited power of God to make it happen and prove that we do by doing all that we are required to do, such as praying, engaging personally in soul winning, and offering communication to all our contacts to come to church and be blessed. John 6, 28. As I wrap up in this service by the grace of God. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might walk the work, works of God? Jesus answered them unto them and said, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him who he had sent. Believe that we carry Jesus. Let us go outside there and tell ourselves, I am the solution on these streets. I am the solution on this road. A tax fire guy brought me last week Sunday. I made sure myself and my sister, we came together. He's, he brought us around past six. Sat in his service and finished the service. We put him inside the gate. Sit down here. Sat down. After the service, he came for prayers. I prayed for him. He said, ah, so you're a pastor. I said, yes. You know, he didn't know I'm a pastor. Because I won't tell him I'm a pastor. He brought me all the way from my house to this church. We spoke, 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 spoke. By the time he now saw me on the altar, hey, ah. We prayed. God touched him. Now, when you are passionate, you are driven. When you are passionate, you cannot keep quiet. And as you are helping others, God becomes your helper. As you are rescuing others, God becomes the one that will rescue you. Please engage. Put your spirit, soul, and body in this whole winning. Tell yourself, I must be a somebody's problem. I must be a way out to somebody's challenge. I must be an answer to somebody's question. I must be the thing that will make somebody to rejoice. <laughs>